Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Well, we have a couple of uh, familiar growth and income stock picks this time around with Alex Kolb, our growth and income stock analyst at Zach's.com. It's rare that you uh, anybody really from your group brings down company names that I recognize, but <laughs> this week uh, most everybody has been, and you're no exception. First one you want to talk about is TJX Companies, and for those people who may not recognize that corporate name, this is the company that owns the TJ Maxx stores. Yeah, uh, discount retailer TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, brand name, or names like that that are well known. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and start with, you know, me being a growth and income guy. I like right. to discuss the income right away. Okay. Uh, it has an annual dividend of 48 cents that translates into an industry leading yield of 1.3%. Show me the money. I will. That's <laughs> coming up right next, right here. <laughs> sales. Um, the company recently reported June sales and, um, both the total sales and comparable store sales were up on a year over year basis. Both happened to have been up by 4%. Okay. Um, in this environment, this was a great thing. Management was really you know, happy with that and felt confident enough to increase their guidance, uh, for the second quarter. And they increased uh, the guidance here, as you can tell, from 50, the ranging from 56 cents to 59 cents. Mm -hmm. The Zach's consensus estimate was uh, increased in response to that. Um, as you can see, our second quarter um, um, forecasts are also at 59 cents, and the, the increase took place all across the board, cool. as, as shown here. All right. And in response um, to that, to the to the strong sales, um, I'm, what I'm showing here is a three-month uh, chart comparing uh, TJX to the S&P 500. T, uh, TJX has been doing better than the S&P, and as you can tell here, after July 9th, it spiked even higher in comparison to the S&P, uh, largely based on the on the strong sales that took place in June. All right, and then there is this other company, small company. <laughs> Tupperware Brands Corporation, T-U-P, the ticker symbol. Believe it or not, I still have Tupperware in my house. As, as, how old I am. As do I. A lot of people do. Um, kitchen products, home products, things like that. They actually also do uh, beauty and personal care, so a uh, diverse product offering. Mm -hmm. And um, here as well, let me start with the dividend. Uh, annual dividend of $0.88 cents, translates into a yield of 3%, essentially 2.6, um, also uh, topping its industry average. This company recently reported second quarter results, um, stellar results here, 86 cents per share uh, uh, for the second quarter was above the prior year, 75 cents, beat the consensus estimate by 41%. Um, the Zex consensus estimate was increased in response to that. Uh, as you can see here also, even in just the past week, there were uh, increases all across the board on this company as well. And uh, as the case was with TJX, um, when, you know, strong results like that translated into a higher share price. Again, a three-month comparison here that pulled far away from the S&P after these results were delivered. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. You just use their products. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to check out some other hot stocks in the various investment categories that we call Zach's Rank Buy Stock Picks. Go to Zach's.com's homepage and glance over to the upper right-hand corner of the homepage. That's where we list them all, and we change those investments stock uh, ideas uh, every day. We put four new ones up there every day that we feature on Zax.com. With Alex Kolb, I'm Terry Ruffalo.